Hey everyone, Olivia here. Uh, hope everyone's doing well and enjoying the training so far. Uh, hopefully working hard and learning some stuff and having some fun. So um, yeah, can't wait for our next video session and to hear all about it and uh, connect with you guys a bit more. Um, this morning I'm going to take you guys through one of my uh, trunk and mobility sessions. Um, I do these several times a week, um, typically after a session um, or at the beginning of a session. Um, I'll do a bit of both typically, um, depending on whether I'm on court or doing a maybe a cardio session or a strength session. But um, in order to stay healthy, given all the the load of movement I'm doing, I have to do a ton of trunk and a ton of mobility to stay healthy. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take you through it. It's gonna be, we're gonna be alternating between kind of mobility and core, and it's gonna be 35 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So um, yeah, uh, I'll just take it away and you guys follow along. All right, first stretch. Let's get it going. All right, 35 seconds on the clock. This is gonna be a downward dog glute stretch. And we're good. Here, and then you're going into a pigeon. Really trying to keep that back nice and straight. Straighten out those legs on the downward dog. This is a good one to wake up the hamstrings. And time. It's 10 seconds off. Next exercise half kneeling lift. So you're gonna have one foot forward and you're just gonna rock. You almost wanna pretend like you're wearing a belt buckle and you want that belt buckle to face the ceiling. That's what you're, you're kind of trying to get your hips to turn this way without kind of arching your back. You're just rocking. If you want an extra stretch, I typically extend the arm that's aligned with the knee that's on the ground. Just rocking. All right, that's time. 10 seconds up. We're gonna switch to the other side. Bring the left leg up and go. For this morning, we're just gonna do this forward facing, but I, I like to do this in all different types of directions and it activates all different sides and angles of your hip flexor right here. If anyone wants to do, try out different version. So important to keep the hip flexors loose for squash. We're using them constantly. Try and keep a nice tight core as you're doing this. That's time. 10 seconds. All right, next one is a 90-90. These have saved my career, I'm pretty sure. It's time. I'm gonna go into front legs 90 degree angle, back legs 90 degree angle, okay? And the point is not to collapse or do like this. So you really wanna be in line with your knee. And then I'll show you. Switch and switch and switch and switch. Keep that core nice and engaged. Switch, switch. That's time. Next up, we have our reverse crunch. And you're on your back here. And go. You're going here and you're just driving your hips into the air. Not really letting your feet, your legs come down. It's all about the push up as you're in this position. You should really feel this in your upper core. Now 
the more you can kind of keep yourself from letting those legs drop. But, but that's time. 10 seconds. Next up, sideline crunches. All right. And you're on your side here. Little knee bend and go. And you're just lifting your legs here. Trying to almost like touch your hip bone with your elbow. This is really gonna get the obliques. Should be burning. Straight legs if you can, if you want a little bend. But keep that core nice and tight here. Keep your back. So engage and rest. 10 seconds off and we're flipping sides. Welcome to my living room, by the way. This is where I watch Yellowstone, which I'm addicted to right now, if anyone hasn't watched it. And other side. Straight legs, I'm really taking that elbow to the quad. Good. Really important to get all areas of the core, right? You have your obliques, you have kind of your upper, your middle, lower core. Time. up bicycle kicks I'm sure everyone knows these these are a classic and go try and turn all the way to the side follow your elbow with your eyes As you're doing this, your back is gonna wanna lift off the ground. You wanna drive your lower back into the ground. Make sure it stays engaged. Tie. Oh. All right. What do we have next? All right. These are classic as well. So good for mobility. All right. Gonna get into a press up position like this, and you're gonna lunge, rotate towards the knee. That's it. up by your hand. And the important thing is to stay stable as you come back into the press up position. It's easy to kind of like round out and kind of fall and do that, but you really maintain that stability through each movement that you do. I always like to squeeze my glutes through these exercises as well. Make sure everything's engaged. Time. Next one. Um, reverse lunge to a high knee. And go. Reverse lunge, high knee. Oh, you're alternating, sorry. High knee. Reverse lunge, high knee. Some might think this is more of like a cardio exercise, but it's doing these lunges and really getting that full range of motion is a great mobility exercise. In that high knee, you should feel that core engaged. Time. All right, next up, these are some of my favorite, this is one of my favorites for hamstring mobility and thoracic spine rotation. Uh, half lifts. Ready, go. So you're gonna be here and you're gonna bend one leg and lean towards the straight leg. So I'm bending my left, straightening my right, turning towards the right. Give you guys this. So I'm here, opening. Keeping that back as straight as you can, try not to round it out too much. But you're kind of, you can lean on that bent leg if you want a little bit to kind of get yourself a little bit more range of motion. 
Really good for the hammies and the back. That's time. Next up, dead bug. We're on the ground. Another core exercise. Go. Back's on the ground, knees are up. You're gonna extend opposite arm, opposite leg. And you're driving your back into the ground. That is the key here. I always keep my head a bit lifted. And reach, reach, reach as far as you can with that foot and arm that are extending. This is really good for people that have back issues and just for general core strength. But when I've had back injuries, this has been one of my saving graces. Time. All right, 10 seconds. Then we're going into leg circles. And go. I have hands under butt. And you're gonna feet together. And you're just going in a circle. After maybe 10, switch directions. This will get kind of like your lower core, more central core. Again, butt's gonna wanna, or your back is gonna wanna come up. Don't let it. Switch directions. Time. Next up, body saw plank. This is a good one. Um, all right, you're on. You're in a plank position and you're gonna rock back and forward. You're on your elbows. Ready, go. Really drive those elbows into the ground. That should make you really feel that engagement in your upper core. And time. All right, 10 seconds. Press up lunge change with an elbow drop. Back to mobility. Ready, go. So you're here, elbow drop. I have a bit of injury right now, so I'm not going quite as deep that side, but you wanna try and get that elbow down. Here, and then there. Keep that back nice and straight. Don't let it round and collapse. This is a great one to do before you play squash or do it. Just one to do every single day. Keep those adductors and hammies really loose. That's time. All right, single leg hip lift. Do this on both sides. You're on your back in a bridge position. One leg and you're And that hip as high as you can, really driving through. This is great for hamstring strength, hip strength. Should feel pretty good burn on these. Time. We're gonna go to the other side. And three, two, one, go. Let's go to the left side now. It's gonna get tired, but keep driving all the way up. And time. All right, now we're just going into a basic squat. Three, two, 
three, two, one, go. Nice and strong through this. Strong back, core. Really drop low, get that full range of motion. These sessions that I'm doing right now are all from my trainer, that's time. Mark Campbell, who's incredible. He's based in Sheffield, works with some English players um, and a few other players on tour actually, but he's fantastic. And I've gotten all of these sessions from him, so shout out to Mark. All right, next up we have reverse plank with a single leg extension. So you're here, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna Extend out, and you're just holding that bridge position. The further away your feet are from your body, the harder this is gonna be. So it might not be 90 degrees, it might be a little more, but up to you how much you wanna challenge it and test it. Really good for hamstring strength. And time. All right. Um, toe touch. Back to finish with some core. We're almost there. Legs up. And reach and reach as high as you can. That's time. Oh yeah, we love some core. A few seconds, then we're gonna go into a butterfly crunch. So you're gonna go into like the butterfly stretch position. You're gonna lay back and crunch. Hold the top a little bit. You should feel this in your upper abdomen. Oh. Time. Last one, guys. Dish hold. You're here and you're just hold. Okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Deep breath through this one. It's always a good burn. If your abs are already a little fatigued. My feet are also off the ground. If you can't see them from here, I don't think you can. They are hovering above the ground. All right, guys, that is it. I've definitely got a little sweat going. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, if, if you guys did, let me know. I have a bunch more sessions like that that incorporate a ton of mobility and core. And, you know, it only took us 20 minutes. So it's a very easy session to incorporate a few times a week just to really maintain that strength and, uh, and mobility and to keep you healthy on and off the court. So hope you guys enjoy it and I uh, look forward to connecting soon.